Who's that? Good evening. I see you still haven't grown in your, uh, you know, you st you're still having that issue. What issue? What issue? You know, the, uh, your mustache. Well, I, I want to shave my hair off. It's a disguise. Well, I definitely think it's working. I need help. And I know whenever I see you, I say, oh, I need help, I need help, but I do need help. I do okay. need help. Yeah, what, what is it this time? I was, as you are well aware, and I don't want to, it's, 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 a, it's a tale as old as time, but you are well, 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 well aware that I was taken to a derelict house and beaten to an inch of my life. I was also, the rifle was stolen from me, you're well aware of this, I don't need to uh, retread these steps, but I have no money, and I have no guns, and I'm desperate to find that clown, and I'm desperate to find you some weapons. You have no guns again? I have nothing. What happened to you? Why does this keep happening to you? Well, actually, I know why this keeps happening to you. I ran into a woman in a field yesterday. I was going and looking up to dig up dead people. And you know what she told me? She said, have you seen that fucker, Anthony? And I said, I may know of him why. And she said, because he keeps going around and he's stabbing people. He's stabbing people that he doesn't like and he's threatening to stab people that tell him something funny. I beg your pardon, I haven't stabbed anyone. So this is absolute nonsense. Who is this old crone? She was just some lady that I met in the middle of a field. Well, I haven't stabbed anyone. So you don't see Apparently, out you're out there making enemies. I'm not out there making enemies. Thank you. Howdy, Dakota. Howdy. Evening. Hello. Oh, it's you, Anthony. Well, don't say it like that. <laughs> oh, it's you, Anthony. Hello, my dear. I'll be honest with you. Do there, there, there is, there's a, you understood. You understand me. There's a gang of people in the milk, the milk house, that absolute, absolute rascals, ghastly people, and their fucking mother. Oh, it's all sweetness and light with the mother. I don't trust that mother as, as far as I can spit on her. Apologies for my language. That's all right. I, I agree. I'm not a big fan of elderly people. No shades. Makes out she's all innocent. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, I can't walk straight. Come on, love. You think that she's fibbing? She's fooling yes, everybody? I do think that. Yeah, she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. I'm not an idiot. I wasn't born yesterday. Hmm. You think that she's up to, uh, you know, you think that the Milky Hole is just a front for illegal activities? I don't know. I, mean, I don't, don't know. I don't I suppose they're shitting their britches when it comes to you lot. But they'll say the right, they'll say exactly what you want to hear, I'm sure of it. They'll say exactly what you want to hear. Hmm. Can I give you something to do again? Yes. I'm thinking. Now, we had an interaction with these folk, but I didn't necessarily know how it all went, and I've been curious myself. Have you ever thought about pretending to be in love with the old woman and trying to get into her good graces so that you can find things out about her and what she's been saying about these folk over here in Van Horn? I haven't thought that, no. That's not what, not once has that crossed my mind, but, but, the thing is, the thing is, I'll go over there. I know, I know what is going to happen. I'll get treated very, very badly. I'll get beaten with an inch of my life. Everything will be stolen from me. And then there, 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 there's me. Pretending to uh, fall in love with an old grotty lady. I mean, it's Valentine's Day. Today's the perfect day. You're lonely. She's old. Probably. Lo well, actually, I know that she's in a relationship with Hank from 10 tons. So now I'm really reconsidering my ideas. Yeah, here. I actually. That is a good point. Not, yeah, 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 yeah. I might actually get you killed if I send you to do that. <laughs> oh, oh, they're fighting.
Well, you're in your cell. Oh, you're yeah. a pickle, aren't you? Oh, what's going on? Yeah, town's oh, If you stand still, they can't see you and they won't shoot you. I think Wade just got ran over by a horse. Behind you, by the way, y'all. Behind Ooh, you. Oh, look at him. He's creeping with a gun. Down the street. You're John Ford. Don't take your gun out. Bro, why would you do that? Ooh. Uh oh. Get him, Riley! Can somebody go help that guy? Both of them. Anyways, as I was saying, I just now realized that that woman's in a relationship with a, a member from a dangerous gang, so it's probably not the best idea to go court her. I'm a good actor, but I'm not that good. Well, you gotta get yourself some guns, right? Yes. Here, step over here. I don't want you getting shot in the middle of the street. You could go rob him again. I'm not giving you a gun. You lo you lose them too much. You've lost your privileges. Really? If I give you a gun, you're not gonna have. Well, I could buy you like a real shit gun. Would that suffice? Yes, thank you. Okay. All right. Is that help that you wanted from me? You just wanted a little gun. Well, obviously I'd like something more, but that's uh, that's not possible. And don't get funny. Funny thoughts. I meant. A All right, because I was about to ask. No, 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 absolutely not. Right. All right. Let's go to Annisburg. I'll, I'll get you a gun. Thank you. Now, last I heard about this town, he was last seen in Valentine, but I do know that he's apparently going to be at a market down in Blackwater on Friday, I think. Who? That old clown. Ah. There's a market that's happening at noon down in Blackwater. No. One thing I did do is that the old lady, I, I took her up into the mountains. Is that it? Like on a date or? No, I was going to leave, leave her up there. There's something about her. I, say, I, don't, I don't trust her. All right, I'm going to give you some choices, all right? Would you like a Cattleman Revolver, which I would not recommend if you're actually planning on shooting people, a Double Action Revolver, which again, I wouldn't recommend it if you're actually on planning on shooting people, um, or perhaps a Double Barrel Shotgun, or a Schofield Revolver. Now, the Schofields, they're pretty good. Oh, what would you recommend? Um, I'd suggest if you're doing up close robberies, I would actually go with a double barrel. And then if you're doing like, you know, far away, a little bit of distance, you need to run and shoot on the back of your horse, probably just go field. Well, I, um, I would go with what you advise me to. You're being very kind anyway. I feel like pickers can't be choosers. That is, that is a good, a good uh, factual statement. Do you know what? My second muscle isn't working. 
Does that, that understand? Does that make sense to you? I say I must. Does that make sense to you? I'm thinking. Like the the little meaty parts in your hands? Yeah. Have you tried smacking it around a little bit? Steady. Just don't punch me. Oh, thank you so much. Now that should be fine. Make sure that you love it. Make sure you have you have ammo. Thank you. Oh, one thing. Um, sure. I I hope you don't mind, but I was just following my nose and I found myself in the rug store. And one thing led to another and I, I went downstairs and I saw the doctor and I saw some blood on the table and I just thought mum's a word. I see. No, that's that's fine, I think. There's a lot of people that go stick in their nose in our, our buildings, but mm -hmm. just uh you know, you could find the wrong person down there and they wouldn't be too happy that you found them down there. The wallaby kid. Is that who you saw down there? No, no. Okay. So the, no, the doctor mentioned the wallaby kid. What did she say about him? Um, that he's not a lot, really. Just that he's, um, I don't know, really. Just a, fe a feared individual, I suppose. And I'll be honest with you, Dakota. I find bad men very, very attractive. You, me as well. Me and you both, fella. Right. Understood. Now, I'll have you know that uh, the Wallaby Kid is not somebody that you should be messing around with, but it also happens to be... Do you remember that one time that you waddled into town and you asked a scary man if he wanted a dance? Yes, yes. That would be him. Oh. Oh, understood. Mm hmm And that's why you were supposed to get pulled out into the woods and then brutally murdered. Right. Okay. But you talked your way out of it, which is why I have some form of mild respect for you, I think. Thank you, Dakota. Hey, no problem. Wonderful. Are you... Are you going to head off and go uh, see about finding some work and things like that? I might shoot some old women. <laughs> I'm only joking. Okay, you keep your hands off that woman from the, the milky hole. I think that we're looking to have a conversation with her again. I wouldn't trust her as far as I could spit her. You heard it from me. I'll keep, uh, I'll keep my ear out. I'll be careful. Thank you. Thank you, Dakota. Yeah, you good, good luck with everything. And you. <laughs> Don't move. Don't All move. All right. Easy, son. Don't move. Don't move. I'm not going to move, mate. I'm not going to move. Mask is a bit pointless at this point. I've seen your face, but it's, it's all right, mate. Turn around. All right. Withdraw some money, please. Withdraw some money, please. Right, okay. Let me explain something to you first, right? Okay. Let's talk this out. Are you aware of the Parvi? Roads. 
Yes. You're a man that seems to uh, deal in import export and all that, right? Could you withdraw some I am money, said. Please? I am said, Parvi. Could you, you wish to continue to do business with us? Could you withdraw some money, please? How much would you like, sir? Five hundred dollars, please. I don't have that, so you're shit out of luck. And then I would like two hundred dollars, please. I don't have that either. I'll tell you what I can do for you. I can do 60. That is not enough. Well, that's a damn shame, because that's what I have. I cannot produce money out of fucking thin air. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry, sir. What are you sorry about? <laughs> what are you sorry about? I just did. I don't know what my life's become. Yeah. I'm no, so it's sorry, a damn shame. Sir. I don't know. I'm so sorry. No, you've just fucked up, you silly sausage. I'm so sorry, sir. Shoot me if that's what you mean. I'm so sorry, sir. What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> I remember what it said and I miss my mother. I miss my mother. Fucking hell. I want my wits end. What do you mean? I miss my mother. I'm an actor. I'm from the south of England. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to be on the corner what, there. What the fuck is $500? What, what is $500 going to do to get your mother back? I don't even know why I asked you for $500. I don't even need it. What are we going to spend it on? Right, mate. Listen. Right, take this. Bloody hell. What are you up to? I'm at my wit's end, sir. Take that. Take Go what? On. Right, right, bloody, right. <laughs> all right, mate. How's it going? You all right? Good afternoon. Done. Doing good, mate, doing good. Hey, Paul, come outside and have a chat with me, mate. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. Okay, listen, listen. Right, come here. Look at me. Right, smarten yourself up, right? Yeah. Let's do this crying, right? You said you're from the south of England? Where about you from? Portsmouth, I'm a porty boy. And, okay, right, right. So you're a gentleman, right? Yeah. Gentlemen don't go in the bank and pull masks over their face one when it's too late no. and then fucking cry after it. No, I know. Have a bit of respect, come on. I've just been treated so badly at the crossing so far and I'm just at my wit's end, end of my tether. So, so, you, so you think the response to that is to go out and shove a gun in somebody's face? No. Look, mate, how long have you been here? Three weeks, four weeks. I've been beaten yes. to an inch of my life by two men in Valentine who run oh, the milk for shack. For sake. What, the, 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 the milky owl? Yeah, they beat me to an inch of my life. I just want revenge. I just feel... I feel at my wit's end. Listen, you can't be pulling guns on people around here. Only if you intend to use it. Yes. They'll shoot you, mate. Yes, sir. Listen, put your hands up for a second. I'm not, I'm not robbing you, nothing like that, right? I just, I just seem to be having trouble putting this in your hand. Rob away, I don't care anymore. No, no. You're a good man, sir. I said I had 60, and I gave you 60. Thank you very much, sir. Listen. Head into the Bastille, get yourself a nice, nice drink, something to eat, right? Yes, sir. There's people from, well, some from back home, some from Ireland, and all stuff like that. Put your hands down. Yes, sir. Let's see this, sir. My name's George. What you, what, what's your name? Anthony. Anthony, right. As I said, with the Parvian roads, right? Now, if you're a man of that particular line of business, which I don't think you are based on this conversation, but, you know, but there's 
Whatever line of business you're into, there's a bit of back and forth to be done, right? Businessmen. What, what does that mean, sir? If you have things to sell, we have, you know, we have things to buy. You know? So you come to us, we'll buy them off you. You want to buy things from us, we'll, we'll, we'll sell them to you, you know? Understood. Understood. Right, come on. Take a breath. Come on. You're a very kind man. Very kind man, indeed. Let's start again. Let's go and get a nice, uh, a nice something to eat, shall we? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go on, mate. I'm not in the Bastille. <laughs> I'm not in the Bastille. <laughs> not in the Bastille. Oh, no. Is he so <laughs> Shit. Well, that's quite a welcome. There's no problem. I know. I'm just saying. Hi, Anthony. Mr. Relish. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Oh, Why? you should have seen me. What happened? I just, uh, I was hiding in the uh, bank and said to me. Uh-huh. Hello. I was hiding in the bank in Saint Denis, mm -hmm. and uh, a man yeah. came in to uh, withdraw some money. I stepped out from behind a pillar and held him yeah, at gunpoint. You dirty dog! Ah, I haven't you, finished you dirty I dog. haven't finished yet. Yeah, no, I pulled down my bandana and started crying, and he felt sorry for me and just handed the money, and off I trotted. <laughs> <laughs> what? You dirty dog! See, I'm telling you, he has his uses, Marvel. Genius. Yes, yeah, I'm the weeping bandit. <laughs> I'm the weeping, the weeping bandit. bandit. That's good. I like that. Yeah. So how goes? Uh, yeah. You remember the conversation we had on the road? Ah, uh, yes. Remind yes, me yes. again, sir. I uh, told you I was a uh, agent, but in truth, I stole your hat that one time. Oh, are we you? Are we, are we settled now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are. Yes, sir. Wonderful. See, I, I think that Anthony, he's a he's a changed he's man. Amicable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's I'm out there carving a name for himself. Yes, I'm full of ideas. <laughs> Will you still be uh, ridding this town of vermin? No. I feel no, like I'm part against of the vermin it. now. Oh, you're part of the pack. <laughs> yes, uh, it's nice to be a slithering rat. Indeed. Indubitably. Indub yeah, indubitably. 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 Exactly. I'm Where are you from? You. Thank you. I'm from Portsmouth, South England. Um, I'm a porty boy through and through. Uh, I see. <laughs> well, pleasure to actually meet you. Huh? Pleasure to meet you. Get off on the right foot this time. Yes, Hopefully sir. we shall. Yes, sir. Since you are part of the slithering mass now. Yes, sir. It feels wonderful. Sure it does. How much did he give you for crying? Well, not a lot, you know, but, you know, $60 better than nothing, isn't it? Yeah, and you know what, Dakota? Good. I'm going to give you 50 of those dollars. How does that sound? Uh, oh! Sure, by all means, I'll take your money. Happy Valentine's Day, huh? No, I wouldn't go that far, Pavel. You be careful. Did you get the name of this man? 
Me? Yeah. Uh, I think he came from Rhodes. Hmm. What did he look like? What did he sound like? Um, I think he was called George. We saw him before. Was he a uh, George? Yes. Hmm. Do you have a beard? I think he had a big moustache. Big moustache, no. <laughs> Different George. Are you attempting to give me $50? I am giving you $50, aren't I? Mm, it looks like a whole lot of uh, nothingness to me. Here, watch this. Put your hands up. I'm not robbing you. I swear. Sometimes when it's real cold outside, you, you shake so much that the money just falls out of your hand. So people have to reach into your pocket and grab it. Ah, I see. Feel free. You mind if I rummage around in your pockets a little bit? Absolutely. Not at all. You got a can of corned beef, some that's oregano. What, that's what you think. What, what is in the can of corned beef? Oh, no, it is a can of corn. Sorry. Oh. No. <laughs> you have a broom, too? I beg your pardon? You have a broom. Yes, I have a broom. Check this out. What? Both I brooms. always carry around a broom. Wow. There you go. Twinsies. I got this one from a deputy. It's his punishment broom. Brooms all round. Yes. There you go. What a good day for you, huh? Wonderful day. And thank you so much for helping me earlier. Yeah, of course. I want to see you thrive. I, I think that you have potential. Uh, it thank warms my much. cockles to see you a thank part you. of this. Thank you. You're very welcoming and trustworthy. I hope trustworthy group of uh, individuals I'd say so yes what about you Pavel what about me you trust Percy I believe so for the right price <laughs> that makes yeah. sense that's smart I think usually fucking betraying people's trust though isn't profitable do you do that thing where you pay to get on the train and then you rob it? Pay, on, pay to get on the train and rob it? Yeah. That's how most people rob trains. Really? Maybe not Maybe not here. I understand when just jumps on the train, but that, that, that's how most people rob a train. You get on it as a passenger, you wait, and you do it from within. I've only done that once and it only worked once because then everybody knew that I was going to rob the train next time I wanted to get on it. <laughs> That's the trouble. You need to move. Most of those train robberies, you know, the, the, the renowned gangs, they move around the whole fucking country. Go to Minnesota, then Nevada. Maybe you dip your toes in Oregon. Look at him the looking point at was her. you moved around. Mm. Looking at her. I see where I'm going wrong. What's your forte, Mr. Relish? My forte, I sing and I dance. Yeah, the, you're the weeping bandit. Yeah, the weeping bandit, yes. Can I you shoot? Shoot? No, I need Should some come practice. To I would like you, or oh, not like demanding, but it'd be lovely if one of you one day taught me how to shoot a gun. That'd be lovely. Of course. I think that's almost essential. Yes. Necessary. When you have a wit as quick as a flea, sometimes you don't need a gun, Dakota. Yeah, you know what? I actually agree. I don't do that much shooting myself. No. This is true. This is true. But some people are beasts. And a beast cannot be convinced. Yes. Trip show. Nothing wrong with that. Right. I can cry on demand. Yes, but this will not convince everyone, like no. I said. No, understood. You won't convince the tiger to stay away from your throat because you cry to it. Mm -hmm. It'll value you nonetheless. Right time, right place. Exactly. Yeah, I find it quite warming that you're crying for money, because that's how I started out as well. Down in Valentine, I used to carry around these two dead crawfish in my pocket. Is he your? Would you call him your protege? No, I wouldn't go that far. I think that's dangerous. Man? I don't get. I don't have proteges. I'm me, and that's it. But anyways, I used to oh. carry around these two dead crawfish in my pockets, and I would take them out, and I would go to men. And I would cry in front of them and I would tell them that my pets died and I was having a terrible day and all I needed was a little bit of cash so I could buy new pets and then they would give me like a hundred dollars. Holy shit. Silly man. Silly, silly man. 
Yeah, they're very impressionable when you're a woman. Yes. And when you're a man. I can bed a man within five... I could bed Pavel. <laughs> what? what? Yes, yes, yes. You think you have that charm? How do you you plan on doing that? I'm not going to do it. I'm just saying I could. If I wanted to, I could get you in the sack within ten minutes. Not saying I'm going to. I'm just saying that's the... uh, I could get you in a sack as well, fool. Again, Pavel, not not saying I'm going to. I'm just saying I can and I have. Ah, but the right place, right time. Right time, right place, exactly. Are y'all making plans to see each other later tonight? Is that no, what that was? No, no, no. Right, wink, Fuck wink. Fuck that! I'll see you in my nightmares. Yes. Quite frankly. So how all good love starts. What are the chances of the Wallaby kid spending the evening with me? I'm Don't like... you even fucking joke about that. Right. Okay. <laughs> You keep oh, that idea no. out of your head and out of your mouth. I see that top head is fucking giant, covering your big old fat head, and I know that it's full of ideas. Yeah. You keep that one out of there. I um, like, I think, um, imagine how powerful you would be. Well, it's not a power thing. I just, you know, I'm attracted to d- uh, dangerous men and women. Uh, but, uh, no, I understood. I, 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 know my th- my, I know my place. Pavel, don't you be putting those fucking thoughts like, like back in gusto. his head. Just, just the type of people they need in this town. Yes. Dakota. Mm-hmm. I have a niggle. What and does that mean? I, well, it's it's not my place, but I have a niggle. I'm. I'm frustrated, and not in that way. I'm frustrated. Okay, I was gonna ask. I'm frustrated with the two men in the milky shack, and I don't know whether to let it go, or deal with it. Well, what, what what happened? What exactly happened? I know that they robbed you here, but is that it? They robbed me, and they have threatened me, and they stole my rifle, and they said if they see me again, and I just don't like being treated like that, and I don't know whether to let it go or deal with the situation. What if I could get your rifle back? Would you do that? Possibly. What kind of rifle? Hmm. I can't remember. I can't remember. I stole it from a law enforcement officer. Probably a Lancaster. Yes. Yes, yeah, it was the li- it was the rifle that I'd stolen for you, for Dakota, and they stole it from me. Fuck, I was there for that. I remember they dragged you out of here. Yes. They dragged you out of town? Yeah. They took me to the abandoned house. Marvelous. Like, did they ask you nicely and you followed, or was so they it like tied, a rope they situation? Him up. They kidnapped him out of town? Yeah. They did. Oh, well, this changes things. How exactly did the conversation go that led up to you being kidnapped? Well, you did walk into town, Mr. Relish, and start screaming for everyone to leave. No, no, no. No, they approached me thre- in a threatening manner, and I said, leave this town. Kindly. Because I knew what they... I know, I, I knew what they were doing. You knew what the antics they were up to. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I said, leave this town. Thank you. And they wouldn't, and they hogtied me. They threw me on the horse, and that was that. And I don't want to be trod on. I'm the weeping bandit. Oh. Huh. Well, Pavel, what, would you take this fella and go get his gun back? Sure. Unrelated from the events happening in Van Horn, but I think that you two could be, you know, fruitful business partners for one venture uh, at least. Depends. Am I getting paid? Well, it's not my fucking job. Well, I, then him. I'll give you a kiss on the cheek if you want to. Yeah, they, they would tell me, cheek. Pavel. It's Valentine's Day. Come on, live a little. Listen, when I when I uh, get some more money, Pavel, I'll, I'll pay you. Sure, that I works. I mean, to be fair, I'm getting this you darn pay me rifle the just to hand it over to Dakota. I'll let you keep oh, it. If you can get it back, I'll let you keep it. Thank you. 
I think this is your own personal thing now. Motherfucker always hunt me down. So you're gonna gander it all? What is that, Pebble? I said if you're taking the gander it all at Valentine, I mean, how do you want to go? I I don't need you going fucking psychopath. We go in there either and killing the whole town. No, no, not interested. Or just getting the rifle back, right? Yes. You take one of them from their little milky hole, get the rifle back, and that's that. Yes. I do worry yeah. that uh, they will attack me right, as soon well. as I enter the town. Let's get you a change of uh, clothes, huh? You got anything less suspicious? Uh, suspicious? Um, no. No. Pavel, when are you in Van Horn again? I can be in Van Horn whenever you want. Friday? Sure. Oh, uh, wonderful. Sure, we can plan for Friday. We plan for Friday, we enter Valentine, and we ask for the rifle back. That's what we can do it now. We're not, we're, we're not going to, it's not going to work like that, Mr. Relish. We're going to be crafty. We can't just go up there and ask for the rifle back. No, 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 no. We need to hold the place up. What do we need to do first, sir? Come on. Just be prepared. Have a good plan. Scout the place out. Yes. I had a In and out. To go to with Maddie. Oh, fuck. It's right across from the sheriff's office, but there's a back door. It will serve us finally. Yes. May I meet you on Friday evening here? Sure. What time? I'll give you my telegram. How about that? Yes, sir. You know how to use those? Yes, sir. Thank you. Also, these jobs. They require a certain amount of confidence. I won't yes. be telling anyone that you're involved in this. Yes. You don't tell anyone I'm involved in this. Not at all. It stays sir. that way. Not at all. I'm sure you're in the right town. Sounds good. I'll see you on Friday, then we'll get it done. Thank you. Have your Thank rifle you. back in a jiffy. I will meet you in here. Of course. Thank you, Thank you Dakota. Thank yeah, you. absolutely. Thank you for the $50. Not at all. Spend it on Dakota. something you'd like. I'm sure that will go over well. You know. New blouse or hats are entirely up to you. Thank you.